Hey everyone, welcome to Next Corner. I've been requested to do um, a mid-year wrap-up of uh, the books I have done to date. Now, Dune won't be on there because I'm still currently reading it. Same with um, Shadow Rising for Wheel of Time, still currently reading it, so they aren't on there. But everything up to date is. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Wildcat by J.P. Harker was... A very interesting read. He is a self-pub author, and uh, you can see his... Uh, there. I have reviews for all these things up on my channel, so you can always go back and check out those reviews, and a few of them will probably be dashed through this video as well. Um, Wildcat was really good. I gave it three stars out of five. It was very interesting. I enjoyed what he was doing. I just felt the language wasn't quite there. It didn't make me believe I was there. But aside from that, the story was well told and very interesting. Um, followed up by The Witch Elm, which, if you don't know, I was very disappointed in. My reading group was very disappointed. It was a book club book that we had chosen. We were all very excited, and we were all very disappointed and saddened by it by the time the end came around. The Outsider I gave five stars to because uh, Stephen King, he gets his own star rating. There's uh, stuff that he does that's amazing for him that's just like his style of stuff that just can't be beat. And then he's got other stuff that, you know, I I think the lowest I've rated one of his things is a three star so far. And I'm still waiting to give him a two and a one star on books that I find. But, you know, we're getting there. Um... The Outsider was fantastic. I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. It blended my love of Stephen King with my love of um, procedurals. So it was really interesting to see a detective story play out in such a way. Um, Snug, which is a comic book of a uh, really cute one that the people on the internet have made made a book out of. When it came out, uh, I think it was in February, I was at work and we happened to have no one around and just in between my tasks I picked it up and read it in the span of a day and it was just so cute and so much fun so I gave that one four stars for what it was because I mean it's it is what it is it's cute I loved it it was great um the dragon reborn for wheel of time I finished that book there um early in the year and I really loved it four stars out of five I'm really waiting for that um, oomph moment in the series where it really grabs me and hooks me into it to the point that I am just like, this is the best series ever. Because I've heard many things from many people who love that, and I am really interested in it. Um, Pet Cemetery I gave five stars for because I still think of that book. That book is a book that has changed me in a way. Like, the things that happen in that book and the decisions taken and whether you would make those same decisions or not is very interesting. And I think everyone that I've talked to so far who has read it along with us or shortly after us has said that book has changed them in some way. It is a very effective novel. And um, Stephen King thinks it's his scariest and I might be inclined to join him on that. There is a level of fear in that book that just grabs you and holds you, and it's wonderful. I love it. It's so good. Um, Disposable Souls by Fonz Jessam was a very interesting... Uh, um, he's a local author here in Halifax. He wrote a fictional story about gangs and police officers in Halifax, and I thought it was awesome. Like I was right into it. I gave it a four stars. It was very enjoyable, and I have somebody's daughter around here as well that I need to read. And uh, definitely go check out Disposable Souls if you haven't, if you get your hands on it. I read you, but I read you shortly after me and my wife had seen the show, and it was almost a perfect adaptation to the point that the show was, I would declare it as good or better than the book. Um, the book was really good. It was as good as the show was 
but um, because I read it after I seen the show, my enjoyment level for it was much lower because I really hate reading things I already know about. Like, I love rereading stuff, but like, if I'm reading the book You and I just seen the show and the literal changes are just a few minor details. It's one of those things where it's like, why would I bother reading the book at that point? Like, either I'm going to read the book or watch the show. And so the show kind of made me not like the book as much, which is sad because I love reading books. And if I had read it first, I would have probably given it a four star because I would have been blown away by it. Um, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I finally got around to reading that this year, which was awesome because I have been putting that off for so long. I'm excited to read the rest of the series. It was extremely good. I gave it a four out of five stars. Um, those Danes, man, they know how to, like, everyone over there in Scandinavia, they know how to make a good noir novel. They are fantastic at it. Love it. Um, I grouped the entire Witcher series together, which ranged from four to five stars for me, because it caught me. It blew me away. It was so good. It was a different kind of fantasy than what I have read. It's nothing like Game of Thrones, and it's nothing like Lord of the Rings, even though there are definite hints there to those things that are, like, very similar in play. The Witcher was written in the 90s, just like Wheel of Time and Game of Thrones, so they all, you know, they absurd a certain type of darkness in them that you don't get from anything else that also comes with witty humor as well. And I think that is the best part about the entire Witcher series because it made me fall in love with it. Like, I still think about the series daily because I think it's a fantastic series and I'm excited for more people to read it. Um, so I gave the entire series as a whole five stars. Um, some books are better than others in it. Lady of the Lake just blew me away. That ending was, it rocked my world. So it was awesome. I read Jurassic Park. I have some omissions I would like to make from my other video where I thought about it being too misogynistic. And I think that was the point. Um, in reflection to it and looking at the movie, um, Ellie Sadler definitely points out a lot of misogyny. Uh, taking place around what's happening in the film and I think when I read it I misinterpreted it as not as Michael Crichton being misogynistic in a sense but more so his characters being overly misogynistic however what it really was was that you know Ellie was kind of joking about it more so and I also did feel like they did Lex a disservice she was uh, definitely an up that they did for the movie, so um, I love Jurassic Park. Four out of five stars. I would definitely read it again, um, and probably will. I'm going to read The Lost World at some point here, and I'll probably dig in more Michael Crichton stuff because he is very interesting, and I know Mike from over at Mike's Book Reviews holds him in high regard, so. On South Mountain. Now, that was a book that was difficult to read, but man, it was good. It has, like... History of the local area around here. South Mountain is in the valley of Nova Scotia. And um, it was messed up. Uh, definitely really, really good book to read. But it, it, it hits you hard. It's a heavy read. Elevation by Stephen King. Really enjoyed Elevation. Um, I gave it three stars. I felt like it was one of his weakest entries that I've read. Uh, but it was short and it was sweet. I loved it. It was great. Um, it was something I would recommend, but something I would say that isn't his best work. Uh, The Long Walk is something that a lot of people don't like when I say I gave it three stars because to me it was good. Um, but it's not a book that stands out to me. And I know for some Stephen King fans, it's their favorite book. And I appreciate that. I appreciate some people loving the stand the most and things like that. But to me, it was just, um, it was just good. That, that was it. There wasn't anything special. It was just good. Um, and then of course the stand, I gave that a four stars. A lot of people give a five. Um, 
I found the length of it to be a tiny bit tedious. I read it in five to six days, but I mean, the length of it... Uh, everything in it is in there for a reason, and so I don't feel like a lot of it needs to be cut. But, um... It could have been a way better story at 600 pages. Or even 800 pages. Like, it could have been infinitely better. So, there is that. I read American Dirt. I gave it two stars. I did not like it. It was hyped all to high hell. And, uh... I just did not see it living up to the hype, which made me a little sad. Um, I, I went into it fully expecting to enjoy it and love it, and I just I found it hollow. So it was something that I was kind of sad about. I read Frankenstein as um, a book club recently. It was only a few of us reading it. I gave it four stars. It was a very short read, very interesting. Mary Shelley was awesome. And uh, stay tuned for an adaptations video because I am going to watch the movie and uh, do an adaptations on that. Stephen King, If It Bleeds, I gave it four stars because there were two five-star stories and two four-star stories in that book. And the two four-star stories, I would almost give them three and a half. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was really great. Um... I love If It Bleeds, I, I, the Mr. Harrington's phone and um, If It Bleeds was phenomenal. Those were my two favorite stories, um, The Life of Hank and um, what was the other one? The Life of Hank and uh, Rat. I, I kind of snoozed through them, I enjoyed them, but they were just not all there for me, so I'll, I'll probably reread it again at some point because they're really short, so... Maybe I'll feel different about it, and I know one of my friends uh, who is going to be on the channel here soon, Preacher Man, is going to be uh, taking a look at that and discussing it. Now, the most recent book, slash audiobook, slash listen to Andy Serkis read it was The Hobbit. And that is always a five-star read for me because I have read The Hobbit a gajillion times, but I spent the 12 hours... Uh, hanging on every word, so I count it as I read it, because Andy Serkis read it to me, and don't tell me that doesn't count as reading. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for coming to the corner, and, uh, you know, if you want to join up in my Discord and join along with some reads and stuff, uh, link is down below. So you guys have a wonderful day, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.